Hi, this video is going to cover exponent rules. So the learning goals for this video are to develop and understand exponent rules and also to learn how to apply the rules uh, to simplify expressions with exponents. Um, so we're just going to go through some terminology here. Here we have an expression 2 to the 5. That 5 here, okay, here that is what we call an exponent. That big 2 is what we call a base. And as a whole, 2 to the 5 is what we call a power. So we're going to be using these words. Uh, so hopefully it's clear uh, what each of those words mean. All right, we're going to simplify this expression here. We have 5 to the 5 uh, times 5 to the 3. Well, 5 to the 5 means this. 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. Well, there's 5 of them. And 5 to the 3 means uh, this, 5 times 5 times 5, or 3 times. Um, now, those two are multiplying, so we have this long string of 5s. Now, if you count, there's 8 of them. Right? So if we are multiplying 5 here, okay, 8 times, well, well, that's just uh, 5 to the 8. Now, if you notice here, uh, in the beginning, uh, we have a 5 and a 3, and at the end, we have an 8. Well, 5 plus 3 gives me 8. And again, we're, there's 8 of these numbers, right? We're just basically putting um, uh, these 5 fives and these 3 fives together okay, to make 8 of them. So when we're multiplying powers that have the same base, we can add the exponents okay, as a shortcut. Uh, now let's take a look at what happens if we divide these things. So again, 5 to the 5 means that. If we're dividing with 5 to the 3, okay, that's what we mean. Now, bed mass tells us that we can divide and multiply in any order we want. Uh, so I'm just going to divide 5 with 5. Okay? And 5 divided by 5, 5 gives me 1. I can do the same thing again. That'll get me 1. And then this 5 and this 5 divided together will get me 1. So let's just look at what we have left here. We've got 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1, times 5, which is 5 times 5 again, which is 25. So altogether right now we have 25. And 25 is the same thing as, well, 5 times 5, which is uh, better written as 5 squared. So if we take a look at the beginning here, we had a 5 and a 3 as exponents, and we're ending up with 2. Um, well, 5 subtract 3 gives me 2. So when we're dividing powers that have the same base, all we need to do is subtract the exponents. Okay. And um, we're basically taking away three of the fives, right? because there were three on the bottom here. So we're just left with two. So these are uh, two very crucial rules about multiplying and dividing powers that have the same base. And that's very critical. Um, let's look at another rule. We have, um, again, a squared. Remember, that's just. Um, yeah, let's use a different color here. That's just a times a. All right. Okay, well, this is just a squared. Um, now, if we have 2 to the 3 squared, right, well, that just means 2 to the 3 times itself. So 2 to the 3 times itself. So it looks like this. Okay. Now, just from before, a second ago, if we have powers that have the same base and they're multiplying, well then the rule was we get to add these exponents. So 3 plus 3 gives me 6. Also down here we have 5 to the 4 raised again to uh, a 3. So that just means 5 to the 4 multiplied by itself, well, 3 times. And the rule again is that, well, when we have powers that are multiplying that have the same base, we can add these exponents. So 4 plus 4 plus 4 gives me a 12. Uh, let's look at the bottom two rows here. Uh, a 3 and a 2 t now all of a sudden turned into 6, and then a 4 and a 3 turn into a 12. Now 3 times 2 gives me 6, 4 times 3 gives me 12. So here we have another rule. We're not adding or subtracting the exponents, uh, but when a power is raised to another exponent, uh, you can multiply the exponents. So now we've got uh, three rules. One where we add, subtract, or multiply the exponents. So the difficulty here is just making sure when to do what. So let's just do some examples um, so that we're a little bit more clear. 
Uh, so here uh, we're going to simplify each one. x to the 4 times x to the 6 should get us, well, um, they're the same base and they're multiplying. So we get to add these exponents. So 4 plus 6 will get me 10. So that's x to the 10. Uh, here we have two uh, powers that are dividing. So we have t to the 8 divided by t. Now there is no exponent here, but there is one. Um, it's an invisible one. It's an invisible one. Uh, so when powers are dividing and they have the same base, remember we can subtract these exponents. So t to the 8 divided by t to the 1, essentially, is t to the 7. We just subtract them. Uh, here, oh, we've got two things happening. There's multiplication or a power raised to an exponent. So bed mass tells us that we have to deal with the exponent before we multiply. So let's do that. We're going to leave this b to the 2 by itself first. And then we're going to settle this. So b to the 3 raised to the 5. Well, we can multiply these two exponents. So 3 times 5 is 15. And uh, now these two powers are multiplying, so we can add these exponents. So we get b to the 17. Okay. So we need to deal with the exponent first before we do any type of multiplying, or in, uh, in this example here with d, dividing. So we need to deal with uh, the power raised to an exponent. So a to the 5 raised to a 2, again, we get to multiply those exponent so that's a to the 10 divided by a and now again there is no exponent there but there is one there's an invisible one okay so it helps to write it okay, uh, to help visualize uh, and a to the 10 divided by a to the 1 is well a to the 9 because here when we're dividing we get to subtract the exponents all right now Let's be clear about uh, the keys here. We need to be clear about the exponent rules, of course. So let's just go over them again. So when we're multiplying the same bases, we get to add exponents. When there's division of powers with the same bases, we subtract exponents. And when there's a power raised to a power, we multiply exponents. Okay? And just like before, if the expressions are fractions, you want to simplify the numerator completely. Uh, or the denominator uh, fully, and then uh, divide the numerator and the denominator uh, at the end. Okay. So let's just um, do some examples here. You're going to give them a shot. Um, so be clear about what rules need to be uh, used first. Okay. Uh, pause the video and give these a shot, and then when you're ready, just press play. Good luck. All right. Uh, uh, for question A here, uh, these two powers are multiplying. So again, we get to add these exponents, right? So that should be A to the 7. Uh, for B here, uh, the numerator, uh, the bases are, sorry, the powers are multiplying. So we get to add that. So that's X to the 7. And then divided by X to the 1. We'll just put the 1 there to clarify. And they're dividing. So we get to subtract the exponents. So that should be X to the 6. Okay. And try a couple harder ones. Again, pause the video and give it a shot. Good luck. All right. Here we need to make sure that we deal with the exponent first before we multiply. So this y to the 4 should be on its own first. We're going to deal with the power raised to an exponent. So y to the 3 squared. We multiply those exponents. So that gives us y to the 6. And then these two um, powers are multiplying, so we add the exponents. So that's y to the 10. All right, this last one's a doozy. We need to completely simplify the numerator and then also completely simplify the denominator and then divide both afterwards. So the numerator here, it's a power raised to an exponent, so we get to multiply those um, exponents. So that's d to the 4 times 3, which is 12. Okay. The bottom here, the powers are multiplying, so we get to add the exponents. So that's d to the 2 plus 9 is 11. Now, uh, these two powers are dividing, so we subtract. So 12 take away 11 is 1. So that's d to the 1, but it's uh, more common that we don't write the 1. It's just implied, so we just write d. All right.
Well, I hope you got those correct. Um, so again, uh, the most difficult thing about this topic is when to do what. So when powers are multiplying, say x to the 4 times x to the 3, okay, remember we get to add these exponents, right? So that should get us x to the 7. Okay, So that's add. When we're dividing, right, so x to the 4 divided by x to the 3, remember we get to subtract these, so that should be x to the 1, which is just x. So when they're dividing, we subtract. Okay. And then finally, a power uh, to a power. So let's say x to the 4 raised to a 3. Okay. So 4 times 3 should be 12. Okay. So a power raised to a power here, we do some multiplying. Okay. So hopefully this video has made exponent rules uh, clear as well as how uh, we use them to simplify expressions. So um, again, I hope that's clear and best of luck to you.